Hey friends, Blake here, and I've gone from two hives in my backyard to over 30,000. And my goal in these videos is to educate you as a small scale beekeeper and hopefully help you avoid a lot of the mistakes I've made over the years by boiling down all the lessons into practical tips for you as you go on your backyard beekeeping journey. So let's talk a little bit about fire ants. If you live anywhere in the Southern US, you have to deal with fire ants. And I was out here and I noticed this hive, we've got a fire ant mound uh, right here, right by uh, this, well, all around this hive stand, really. And you can see, of course, if you're from the south, you know exactly what this looks like. Um, there's the fire ants. Um, now, a lot of new beekeepers are really concerned about fire ants. You know, they worry, are they going to hurt my bees? Are they going to take the honey out of a hive? You know, what, what should I do to kill them? The good news is they don't really bother a beehive much. I mean, this is the second hive in this apiary that has a fire ant mound right around it somewhere. They aren't bothering the bees at all. What they do bother is us <laughs> as the beekeeper. So it's helpful to treat them and kill them because we don't want them all over us as we keep the bees. But I've seen, you know, commercially, I've seen fire ant mounds, you know, built up as high as the lid on a beehive and they're not bothering the bees at all. You know, a good hive can easily defend their, defend their hive. You know, you'll actually see a fire ant crawl onto the entrance of a hive and the bees will run up and fan their wings and blow the ant off. So if a hive is dead or basically dead, occasionally, yeah, I'll see the fire ants eat a little bit of the honey. But in general, they seem to be more attracted to, uh, you know, the, the shelter that a hive provides, getting up underneath it to shelter them from the rain. So um, not really a major pest when it comes to honeybees. Now, for commercial beekeepers, if, you know, us commercial beekeepers, we're sending our bees out to California to pollinate almonds and they inspect the hives at the border um, and they don't want more fire ants in the state. And so we actually have to be really careful as commercial beekeepers to not let fire ants um, get on our loads of bees when they're going to California. But that's not a concern to you as a small scale beekeeper. Um, if you do want to treat and kill them, I would use uh, boiling water. Pour a, about a gallon or two of boiling water onto the fire ant mound. Should kill it off pretty quickly. And you, you're not worried about any chemicals or pesticides getting around your hive. You can use a chemical or a pesticide. Just apply it at night. Um, and when it's not windy, because you don't want any of that to get into the hive. And I wouldn't use a dust that might be able to blow into the hive. I would use something that's penetrated into that fire ant mound um, so there's no risk of it affecting and getting into your bees. So some sort of a granule that goes inside the hive, um, or inside, excuse me, not inside the hive, <laughs> inside the, the fire ant mound works, um, or some sort of natural organic treatment. Even those I would apply at night so there's no risk of them getting uh, into the beehive and hurting the hive. But in general, fire ants are way more of a pest to you than they are your bees. So that is good news. If this is helpful, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.